So I say, find the union of the two sets. So I give you two sets, and I'm going to be a little funny with you. I'm not really that funny, but I kind of just gave you some weird sets. It's something to kind of to keep your mind open to that uh, sets always aren't just like the elements of sets aren't all, don't always have to be just like numbers or letters. So here I have a set A, which is A, B, letters, the numbers 3 and 99. Then I drew a picture of a house is another element. And then I drew a picture of the map of the lower peninsula of Michigan. So you might say, well, what do these all have in common? And I do not know if they have anything in common, um, nor do I really care. All we really need to care about is that they're all within contained within the set that we're going to call A. Then, then the set contained B, there is nothing, right? That's what we call a null set or an empty set. So when we're trying to find the union, the union states, um, the union of these two sets, A union B, means what are all the elements that's in A or that's in B? Well, we don't have any sets that are any elements that are in B, so our union of A and B has to just be all the elements of A. Remember, union is not the intersection. It is the inclusive of what is in one set, the other set, or in both sets. So I don't have anything in both sets, but I do have some elements in A. So that is going to be included in my union set. And there you go. That's how you find the union of two sets.